Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And after a more gentle puzzle yesterday, we're cranking it back up to 11 today with the latest puzzle from Fistimafel. Um, now this is a hybrid of a Japanese logic problem and a Sudoku. It's called Kuramasudoku. And apparently it was inspired by the other genius constructor or a another genius constructor, Ahaupt. Now between the two of them, I think Ahaupt and Fistimafel have definitely cornered the market on giving me the fear when I construct, but when, when I solve their puzzles or try to solve them. Um, so I'm hoping this one will not be as brutal as I, I'm scared it might be. It's got four out of five difficulty rating on Logic Masters Germany and, and it, of course an enormous approval rating. So I'll read the rules in just a second. Um, but I've got some very exciting news first if you are a patron of the channel over on Patreon. And that is because, um, well, we've just finished testing the most wonderful Sudoku puzzle hunt that's been created for us by Stefan Bura and Akash Jain, two world-class constructors who have appear appeared on the channel many times before. Um, if you don't recognize Akash's name, um, well, you may not, you should recognize his pseudonym, which is Eudikos. Um, so anyway, we plan to release this hunt tomorrow as our December monthly reward um, for our patrons. And it is some Christmas present, believe me. It really is a stunning collection of Sudokus. It's called Tracking the Cryptid. Uh, and basically you need to solve the puzzles and figure out the final answer. And you can send that to us and we will be most impressed. Um, Anyway, that's coming out tomorrow. Look forward to it. Um, also, if uh, if you want to do uh, Joker van Wienendaal's puzzle hunt, which is free on Patreon at the moment, I certainly recommend it. We're getting still lots and lots of correct solutions and lots and lots of great feedback for it. So definitely worth looking at, even if you're new to that sort of thing. That's exactly what it's designed for. Um, and yeah, do check it out. Anyway, let's get back to this one. What are the rules? I've read these rules twice so far to try and get them in my head. I think I've understood them so I will read them to you and then we can look at an example which I think is going to be helpful so normal Sudoku rules apply additionally some of the cells have to be colored gray gray cells may not be orthogonally adjacent and the non gray cells have to form an orthogonally connected set all cells gray and non gray must as usual contain a digit a number in the top left corner of a cell indicates the sum of the digits that are seen from this cell looking to the north, south, east and west. The cell with the clue counts once in this sum. Grey cells block the visibility. A cell with a clue may not be coloured grey and within the field of vision of a clue, digits may repeat if the Sudoku rules allow it. Now that is all sounds incredibly difficult. Well, at least quite difficult, but Fistimafel has kindly provided an example puzzle on a smaller grid. And if you study this, it all becomes a bit clearer. So we can see here the grey cells are not orthogonally connected. The green cells all form a single connected uh, set of cells. And if we look at the little clues in the corner, that 11 clue, for example, you can see that that's the sum of the 2, the 5 and the 4. And that's because the 11 clue it sees as far as this grey six, but it can't see through the grey six, and it can't see what's in the grey six. And it can see up to the three, but it can't see the three, and it's blocked on its right side by the six. Um, and the four here is interesting as well, because that's, that's made up of a double one, which is fine, because the ones are not in the same row or column or box. Um, so yeah, I can I can see how this works. I've no idea how it actually solves, how we're going to solve it, but we shall have to find out how to do that in a moment. That's the idea of solving. Um, so do have a go first. The way to play, of course, is to click the link under the video. And with that, I get to play. Let's get cracking. And my temptation straight off the bat here is to highlight all of the numbered cells and color them in. I suppose I'll do it green to copy Fistimafel's example. Um, so that at least allows us to think we're making some progress. Now we have to... Okay, well I can see that square's grey straight away because if it's not, this 7 clue is definitely seeing 4 cells in the same box. And the minimum I can make 4 cells in the same box add up to is 10 with 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this must be grey. 
and I guess as grey cells don't touch each other, those two must be green. So actually, we're off to a little bit of a start. Now that cell, oh, that cell could be green. Uh, well, I can't immediately see why. I was wondering whether I could limit it somehow because eight can't, eight definitely can't be more than three cells, but. Oh, I tell you what is interesting, the 19 and the 9. Yeah, the 19 and the 9, I think we can say something about those because think it, let's think about column 4 here. What's the maximum number of number that the 19 clue can see in this column? Well, it can never see more than 9 because if it sees more than 9 in the column, as it's connected to the 9, it will break the 9. So the 19 clue it can see a maximum of 9 this way, so it must see 10 or more in this direction, not including this cell. So it can see 1, so it must see at least one more square, green square here. Um, okay, so now that's... I think those two cells, look. They, they, they are the ones that look interesting to me. I don't know if they are interesting, but if, that's, if that square's no, that might be possible. If that square's green, the 10 clue would just be 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's green. Ah, woo, okay, there's some trickery here. If this square's green, it doesn't break the 10 clue, it breaks the 9 clue of all things. Because look, if this is green, the 10 clue cannot see any more cells. Because it's, it's going to see 1, 2, 3, 4 in this set. So it must be blocked off to its east, west, and south. So those would all have to be gray. Now, the moment we do that, that little cell has to turn green. And now the nine is broken because I can't make those four squares add up to nine. They're all in the same row. So actually, we can, we can say that square is gray and therefore that square is green, which, uh, doesn't actually seem to have done much at all. You know what I'm going to say now, don't you? Well, I'm still going to say it, bobbins. Um, okay, maybe I should look at that one then. So this one, no, this one is less good because the numbers are higher. <laughs> um, it'd be good if the 12, if the 12 was there, it might, no, even if the 12 was there, it might be okay. Yeah, actually, um, although it's tempting, this cell was tempting, I can't actually see a restriction that's applying to it. So where else can we look? 36 is a big clue. So that's got to be at least at least six cells because 9, 8, 7, 6 and 5 add to 35. So this is at least a six cell clue, but we don't know. It could go up, it could go left and it could it could actually be as much as an eight cell clue because if we if we did eight cells and missed off a nine we could make the eight cells add up to 36 but we know that because the whole whole nine cells adds up to 45 so this that is surprisingly unrestricted i think 22 so the twen the twenty two must take this cell, mustn't it? Because if it doesn't, it can't see more than eleven vertically. There's no way it can. So that cell must be green. I don't think I'm thinking about this the right way, though. Yet I don't feel like I'm getting a handle on how to to really restrict the digits. Um, just sort of floundering around, just trying to spot something, which is not a good feeling. So, ah, that's an interesting, I'm just thinking about the 11 clue here. This can't be a three cell 11 clue, because if it is, both of those would be gray. And now I've sort of corralled off this green region which I mustn't do 
So that's... Ah. Uh, oh, I was about to say it can't be five cells, but can it be five cells, actually? It might be possible for this to be five... If it... Oh, that's horrible. That is really vicious. If it's five, it could be a five cell 11 clue. So I was hoping to conclude it was a four cell 11 clue. In which case I would know what digits were in it. But look, if that square is green, can I, can I make both of those green? And this still work. These would have to be one, two, three, and four. This would have to be a one. This would, oh, this doesn't oh this is this is vicious absolutely vicious um it doesn't work it might no it's not going to work okay right sorry i'm being completely inarticulate but let us let me talk about this because this is really cool um let's get rid of some of the pencil marks i think i've now understood what's going on in this box so we've concluded it's not a three cell green region now I've now got, if I can rule out a five cell green region, I know the 11 clue must be a four cell green region. And therefore, because the fourth cell is going to be in box one, I know the composition of the 11 cage. It would have to be one, two, three, and five. Now, how can the 11 clue get five cells? Well, one way would be like that, which is not going to work because these five cells are in the same box and therefore would have to be a minimum of 15. One plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15. It can't be those two cells, because if it tries to take those two cells, it becomes a six cell region. But this is the tricky one. Could it be these two cells? Now, I don't think it can, but it's quite difficult to see why not. If this is a five cell 11 region, you'd have to make this gray and you'd have to make this gray. And now the only way of making this work is going to be by making these squares one, two, three, and four and this square, therefore, a 1, which means this square is a 1. But now what do you put in this square to make this 7 work? The answer is nothing, because 4, 3, and 2 are not equal to 6. So the 7 clue breaks, which is why I think this can't be um, a 5-cell region. And it not being a 5-cell region ought to be very useful, because now, well, I know those three squares must be 1, 2, 3, and 5. And one of these two squares is green, and one of them must be grey. Oh, and I see, the seven clue is to help me learn which, which way round it goes. So if this one is green, we now know that this would be grey, this would be grey, and these would have to be the digits one, two, and four to make the seven clue work. But they can't be because we know the 11 clue is 1, 2, 3, and 5. That is beautiful. So, so this square is grey. This square is green. This square is grey. Grey can't be next to another grey. So those are green. This is 1, 2, 3, and 5. And now we can make this total work. The 7 clue can be made to work with 5 and 2. So that is what it must be. And we are off and running. Um... That's an incredibly elegant start, which is exactly what you'd expect from the great man. Um, and surely, ah, so this square being grey means I can green that one. This square now can't be green because it would create a four cell run in the same row for the eight clue. And we know four cells in the same row would add up to at least 10. So we get another grey, we get another green we can't break the nine clue which we would if that was green exactly the same reason again that would create a four cell run which we can't have so that's gray that's green oh and now this reminds me of old and this reminds me of nickley days look at um look at these two uh this two by two Oh, this is lovely. Now, um, let's think about that domino. Is it possible there's no grey in this domino? Well, the answer is no, because if all of these five cells were green, they would have to add up to at least 15, and that would break both the 14 and the 13. Now, what about those two? 
Is it possible there's no gray in those two? Well, look, that would create a six cell run. Now that's a 19 clue. Now the minimum you can make six cells add up to in a line would be 21. One plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, another triangular number. So we know that there are, there's exactly one gray in here and exactly one gray in here and they can't connect orthogonally. So there are two possible orientations. One would be this way, which is going to be correct, because if we put them that way, look, these greys are now a wall. They fenced in this green region, which we must not do. So those squares can't be gray. These must be the greys, those must be the greens. Um, okay. that one is that restricted that would be that would have a minimum value of 10 but that could still be a 2 um that no that one could still be green because the 10 could be bounded on this side ah what do i do next oh the 11 clue the 11 clue is broken if I put that one as green because you can't put a 1 in this run. So if that's green, the minimum they could add up to, in fact, would be even higher than 14. It would be 2, 4, 5, and 6, which is 17, I think. So this is grey. That's green. Oh, hang on a moment. The 19 clue. Yeah, this is... This must be restricted because those three squares add up to 9 from this clue, which means these three squares add up to 10. But given those have added up to 9, the restriction on these cells is going to be profound, surely. The minimum those could add up to is 15. Ah, and they must add up to 15 because that cell, this little cell, look, it can't be 1, 2, 3 or 5. So the minimum this can be is 4. And once this is 4, the only way of keeping these five cells low enough that the total is 19 is if I make these 1, 2, 3 and f um, 4 and 5. So there's no 4 along here. This could still, yeah, oh, that could still be two, three of, and four, because this four is sort of weird. It's almost, I'm almost looking at these like irregular killer Sudoku cages, but they're not. This four is not saying you can't put a four in there. You could absolutely have a four in one of these two cells. The four, ah, 14 isn't restricted really either, because the, those two squares could add up to nine. Or they could add up to three, which is a lot of degrees of freedom. That one can't be two or five, though, because of the two five in row one. Um, oh, no, the eight. Oh, the eight clue is important now, because now I can't put what can this square be? It can't be one, two, three, four or five. Well, it's a three cell clue, so it must be a six and two ones, which is, I think it's okay if that's two ones. That would have to therefore be gray. These would both be green. That looks, it looks okay actually, so that's good. That means this square must be three. That locks three out of those squares, one, two, five. So this, this becomes a three, four pair. These become a seven, eight, nine triple. Six must live in one of those cells, just using this six and the power of Sudoku. Six must be in one of those three squares. This is a three, four pair. Three and four add to seven, so knowledge bomb, that's got to be a two. Uh, two, oh. Actually, maybe more Sudoku is what we should do. Look, ones have got to be up here. Two and five have got to be in those positions. 
just using Sudoku. Um, so can we can we use the twelve clue now to conclude this square can't be green? That oh, no, we can, yeah, we can actually because. What's the minimum value of this square? One, in fact, it's very restricted. That's got to be at least six. Um, I was actually only noticing the one and the two when I first looked at it. But this has to be at least six. So if this is green, this would add up to at least uh, 16. So it's not green, that's gray. We get two more greens off the back of it. The 10 is nearly broken by a green here, but still not quite. No, okay. Um, maybe that square there. Oh yeah, that square's just broken out right. If this isn't gray, the 13 breaks because those would have to be at least 15. So that's definitely gray. And that's cool because now look, we've got gray, gray, gray. So if any of those three squares is gray, these greens would be hived off from the rest of the grid. So all of those are green. That does break the 10 clue now if this isn't gray. So that is gray. Don't isolate this square by corralling it into this, uh, into like this in, in a pen. We don't want that. So that square's green. The so the twenty-one clue now is a three-cell twenty-one total, which is a bit restricted. The options those squares have got to be six, seven, eight, and nine. Look. So these are both relatively high. This one, we, this one, well, this one can't be one. There's no way because those two can't add up to twenty. In, oh, in fact, can that square be green? If this square is green, these three squares would have a minimum value of one. Can't be two. Can't be three and four. Could be three on its own. So one, three, and six, which is ten. And that has to be at least six. So that, that definitely breaks the 13 clue because knowledge bomb 16 is greater than 13. So this square has to be gray. It can't be green. Um, sorry, as, uh, when the cursor is there, I'm never quite sure what, what it means. So I click off the board in order to get rid of it. Now, so this... Ah, this can't be 9. If this is 9, the 13 works, but the 21 won't work. Because if this is 9, that has to be a 1-3 pair. But if this is 1 or 3, I can't make 3 cells add up to 21. So this is not 9. If this is 8, those have to add up to 5 without using a 2. So these have to be 1-4. So this would have to be 4 in order to make the 21 work. We go four, eight, nine. Is that possible? That would be a one. Hmm, that might work actually. Sevens. Seven doesn't work because of the two, five. If this is seven, these have to add up to six and two, four and one, five are not available. Oh, six, yeah, six is broken by the three, four in this square. Good grief. If this is six, how do we make those two squares add up to seven? Well, you can't. Two, five is not available. Three, four, if we put three, four in here, we can't also put a three or a four in there. And we can't go one, six because we've put a six in there to start the chain off. So this is an eight. These are one and four. We know that the order is like this. This is not one anymore. This has to add up to 21. So this is nine. That's not eight or nine. That's a seven by Sudoku. That's a six by Sudoku. So we can get rid of sevens from these two squares. This four is fixing the four and the three. We 
know that these squares are 2, 3 and 5 now. And if we know that, we know that's a 7. These are 6, 8 and 9. And we're suddenly going off on the right track again. That's not 6. 6, 8, 9. This is 7, 8 or 9. And well, the 12 can't have a 5 here because once it gets a 7 from that one, we can't put 0 in that square, even though my software now allows me to do that. That's not 5. If this is not, oh, you can't put 1. You can't put 1 in the 12 at all. So this definite, so this can't be 9 or 8 because I need to put a 1 in one of those squares. This is 7. That means. These two have to add up to five without using one. These are a two, three pair. And now what do we do? So if these are two, ah, the 16 clue sees five, but it sees those two squares as well. So these two add up to 11, which means this square must be gray because otherwise the 15 gets broken. If this is green, these three squares in the box would have to add up to at least six, one, two, and three, plus the 11 there is 17, which is higher than 15. So again, we can use maths to tell us that's gray. Those two must be green. No, oh, look, it's more sort of Hitori logic here. Look, this, um, uh, this wall that Fistemafel has built, the, the wall of Fistemafel comes to there. So if either of those two squares are grey, we've, we've hived off, we've carved the grid into two pieces. So both of those must be green. So that... Oh, it's gorgeous. This is why the 36 clue is here. Can this square be green? Well, the answer is no. Because although I can build an eight cell region, in theory, these eight cells would have to add up to 36. But let's imagine they add up to 36 and we add a 7 to them. We should get 45 because that's the total you get when you add all the digits from 1 to 9. In this case, we get 43. So there is no way that this can be the 8-cell region we're looking for, if indeed we need an 8-cell region for the 36 clue. So this square cannot be green. It must be grey. And that, that has a profound effect on the 36 because the 36 now has to get all of its total from row nine of the grid. So it needs six greens in a row at least. I love this puzzle. I mean, this is another of these puzzles from Fistemafel where you think, you know, there could be a whole series of these. Um, now, if this is 11, oh, hang on, I'm being slow here. If this is 11 and these two have to therefore add up to four. We can't have double two in there. So this is three, this is one, that's a two. We get all of this done. One must live in one of those cells. Ah, the 13 clue now. Uh, yeah, that's good. The 13 clue is important because if it takes this cell or more, it can't have a one in any of its cells. Those four cells could not include a one. Well, the minimum they could be then is 14 because two, three, four, five add up to 14. So this square is gray. Put some more greens in. So these add up to these are up to 13 without using one. So if there's no two in there, if there's no two, they would, they couldn't be three and five. So the best they could be would be three, six and seven, which is way more than 13. So there's definitely a two in the 13. And then two more cells that add to 11 that are not two, nine, four, seven or three, eight. So they are five, six. So this is forced. This is a two, five, six triple, which fixes that. That's three, that's five. Three comes to live on the right-hand side of box nine. These two squares, seven and nine, I think, to complete the column. Uh, 
and and then oh then yeah the nine clue is seeing three cells in its box so these are all different numbers so so it can't be any bigger you can't make yeah, the nine can't extend anywhere. So the nine, the nine's fourth cell, if it had a fourth cell, would have to either be that one or that one, which would give four cells in the same box, which we know must add up to ten. So we can say those both of these squares are grey, and we get loads of greens. Therefore, we get greens everywhere. The ten clue is now three cells can still include a one though if it, it couldn't include a one we would know it would be two three five and that would fix that one. Oh, the 14 clue yeah we oh this could have, i could have done this ages ago look the 14 clue those two squares have got to add up to 11 well we can't use one and ten so we must use five and six so five six That gives us a one here. Okay, that wasn't incredibly useful, um, but it does mean. Oh, it is useful for the ten clue, because if you can't use six and five, if you try and use digits that are four or less, you can only add up to nine, four, three, and two. So you know you've got to be using a higher digit, and you can't use an eight because then you have to have two ones. So you've got to use a seven, and once you've got to use a seven, you've got to use one and two as well. And the one therefore goes there, and this is a two seven pair. There's a one over here by Sudoku. Let's put the ones in. Actually, there's a few places we can pencil ones in the bottom three rows of the grid. Twos similarly have got to be over there. Oh, no, no, no. The nine, the nine clue doesn't have a one in it. So it's two, three and four. And the two is on the right hand side. So that's a two. We can fill that straight in this. Oopsie. That becomes uh, a three, four pair. This column still needs another uh, needs another one of those. That's an eight or a nine. Two doesn't appear in this cell. So now, now we've a we've actually done quite well here. Um, so. The 11 clue, if this square, well that doesn't work, yeah okay, if this square is green, the 11 clue has to be four cells large and not include a one, so it's definitely adding to at least 14, it's only got to add to 11, that square is grey, put the two greens around it. The 12 clue now, oh no, the 12 clue is utterly broken if this is green because because these squares are 1, 2 and 3. So the minimum I could make those two would be 4 and 5. So if I make that green, I've got three more cells to add on to 9, which obviously is going to get me up to more than 12. So this, this square is grey. The 12 clue is now a two cell clue. So it's either, it can't be 3, 9, it's 4, 8 or 5, 7. I haven't looked at whether we can eliminate anything there. Can eliminate the five from that one because of the five in here. Uh, there might be something else we can do there, but I can't see what it is. Mm, not sure. Oh uh, no. Well, five look has got to appear in one of those two cells, but unfortunately we don't know it's this one. I don't think we know anyway. I don't know. Um, three and four are interesting. They've got to appear in two of those three cells in the central box. Oh, the gr yeah, no, no. Look at the Great Wall of Fistimafel. 
Show me the Great Wall of Fistimafel. Look, it's coming all the way down there now. So it, firstly, it came over there, and that got us some greens in these three squares. Now, it goes all the way down here. So this square must be green, otherwise we, we wall off part of the grid. We still don't know whether the 36 stops here or here. I feel like I've used an awful lot of the clues though now. Um, how long have I had? 35 minutes. Golly, that has flown by. Honestly, if you'd said it was 15 minutes, I would have been like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's how long it feels, which is the sign that you're just completely involved in a puzzle. Um, the 11... Okay, let's think about the 11. That needs to have a 2 in it, doesn't it? Because if it's, it can't have a 1 in it. So if there's no 2 in it, the minimum it would add up to is 12. 3 plus 4 plus 5. So there is a 2 in the 11 cage, along with 2 cells that add up to 9 that are not 1, 8 or 2, 7. So 3, ooh, th ah, 3, 6 would be have to be like this. 4, 5... Oh, no, we've got this. Ah, hang on, look at... Hang on, okay, yeah. So this is this is either 236 or 245. But this is a 489 triple. So 89 in this box have to go in those two squares. And more interestingly now, the 4 has to go in the 11 sum along with the 2. So this is 245. Those squares are three, six, seven. That's not three. Two, four, five. Two and two, five, and one are now in those three squares by Sudoku, and we get a one, two, five triple. That's not a two. Oh, the one, two, five triple was given just if I'd looked at these six cells. It's funny the way the ordering works in your head. Two, four, five, triple in column one. So these are six, seven, eight, and nine. Twenty-two clue. Well, it'd be very useful if it was just three cells because then I'd know that was a five. And that would make this square a gray square. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, this is this is why the th well, this is another reason the 36 is here. Can this square be grey? Uh, let's look at it. The answer is no, because if this square is grey, this is green, and therefore those six cells would have to add up to 36, which is fine, except it makes this square a 9 in order to make sure the row adds to 45. But if that square is a 9, how do we make three cells there add up to 22 without using a 9? You can't do it. It's impossible. So in fact, that square is the green one. This square is the grey one. These two... Right, OK, so these two squares add up to 9 now, together. So that is not a 9 because I can't put a 0 in here. So we get another restriction. So this has to be 1, 2 or 3. Oh, it's got to be 1, 2, or 3 to par pair up with the 6, 7, or 8. And there's already 1 and 2 in the box. So this, this is 3. This is 6. That's not 6 anymore. That's not 6 anymore. The 3 is giving me a 3, 4 pair here. 3 must go there if I trust my pencil marks. And I do. Um, 4... Uh, the trail may have run cold there, but that was that was definitely useful. Um, two, five, four. That's what it feels like might be useful now, but can't immediately see how to use it. 
am I missing here? So, so in this box, I've I've still got to place four, ah, four, seven, eight, nine. There's a seven here. So these three squares are four, eight, nine. So there's definitely a four in one of them. And I still not really use the 22 clue other than con using it to conclude this square couldn't be a nine. So so can we do something with this? Probably. Um, if that's four, eight, and nine there though, that square can't be a four. So this is a two, five pair in column two. Two, four, five. Okay, I think we're going to have to look at the options for this 22. So what have we got here? If this is 9, that's 15. We need these to add up to 7, which is impossible. So let's get rid of 9 straight away. If this is 8, we've got 14. We need another 8, which is also impossible. Have I made a mistake here? This feels... No, that feels okay. So I think this has to be 7. That's not 7, therefore. These two squares are adding up to 13. These have to add up to 9. We can get rid of the 9 straight away then. So, oh, so this is either 5, 4 or 1, 8. 8, 9. Oh, lovely. 8, 9 pair in row 7, though, fixes that that one is a 4. Once this is a 4, that can't be 4. So we must use 8 and 1. Fixing the 1 here, fixing the 1 here. That 8 means that's a 9, that's a 9, that's an 8. That 9 means that's an 8. That means, oh, that means we get all these done. 8 must be in one of those two cells. And suddenly, I think that is a breakthrough, because now we can get rid of 1s in those squares. We can, what else can we do? We can get rid of, oh. We can get rid of 4 and 8 in that square. That's a 7. Therefore, that's a 5 to make the 12 work. Get rid of the 5 here. Where does 5 go in the 11 clue? Only there. That fixes the 2 and the 4. Fixes the 2 and the 5. 4 doesn't live there anymore. And... Now I must have almost used the clues. One is definitely not in these cells. We've already done all the ones. Two, so we've got two, five, six here. I still need four, eight, and nine into this box. Eight is, eight is placed. Four, nine pair here. Not sure, it's probably resolved. I'm just not spotting it. Uh, this square is a five or a six. This, oh, that square is a five or a six as well because it can't be a two. So those two squares are seven and nine. There's a seven here. Yeah, the, uh, another way of looking at that would be noticing the six is ruling itself out of this square. So actually, the seven goes there, the nine goes here. Nine has to be in one of those two squares. We don't know about the seven yet, but we must be close now. Um, this, oh, that nine up there fixes the four and the nine. There we go, nine, four. Four must be here by Sudoku. Four must be here by Sudoku. The 15 looks like it's not done yet. So we've got, oh, those had to add up to 11, didn't they? So that. Oh, this must be 2 and 9, because 7 and 4 would clash with the 4 there. So this becomes 9, this becomes 2, that fixes a 2 and a 7, gives me a 6 on the left-hand side. That square must be not 9, so the 9 must go down here, that fixes the 8. This should be a 5, that 5 is going to fix the 5 and the 6, the 5 and the 2. That gives us a 6, 5, 2, triple here. That's a 7. That's a 7. That's a 3. That's a 3. That's a something. I'll put 6 in. That's a 6. That's an 8. That's how I'd finish. Let's check. Yeah. Wow. Yet again, Fistamafel comes up trumps with a beautiful 
new type of puzzle. I mean, obviously he's been inspired by A Help there. I probably did the A Help puzzle. Um, but, you know, if these guys are producing puzzles like this, keep keep bouncing off each other. Keep producing puzzles like this because they are just sensational. Loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments as usual. And check out this uh, Sudoku puzzle hunt we've got coming out on Patreon tomorrow. Stefan Bura and Akash Jain have come up with something superb. See you tomorrow on Cracking the Cryptic.